Hi guys, today I'm going to talk about eye color, or more specifically, iris color. And the color of your eyes, they are changing my heart. And if you've ever had biology before or anything like that, you probably know something about Punnett squares and dominant and recessive. And eye color does have to do with that. Like more people will have darker eyes because darker eyes are dominant. Fewer people will have lighter eyes because lighter eyes are recessive. So if you did have a biology course, then that should make sense to you. And even if you didn't, just by observation, you see that a lot of people have brown eyes. It is genetically determined like that. Like blue is recessive to green and hazel. And blue, green, and hazel are all recessive to brown. And, but, of course it's not that simple because they're different colored brown, they're different colored blues, there's gray, which is not even listed in there, there's green, hazel, like all of these are within a spectrum of everybody's different eye colors. Now eye color is actually polygenic, which means it involves more than one gene, so that's just another reason why it can't be just that simple, as a Punnett square would tell you. But actually, when I was a senior in college, everyone had to do a senior paper. A classmate of mine who focused on genetics did her senior paper on eye color. Part of the requirements for our paper was that we did our research from things that were within the last five years. And so that just goes to show that it's still not known what exactly happens to make people's eyes color, eyes the color that they are. I'm sure there's experiments and studies being done right now. Iris coloration is primarily determined by the amount of pigment in the iris stroma. So it's often talked about how many melanocytes, which is something that you can have in your eyes or on your body or really people um, attribute melanocytes to the amount of color or the kind of coloration but really the thing is the amount of pigment that is contained within the melanocytes that determines color. If there's less pigment then your eyes will be blue due to physics, wavelengths and things, nothing that I really want to get into. but more light will be reflected, so it will be lighter. It will be blue. And then darker eyes, like mine, I actually have a clip of what my iris looks like. It doesn't look normal. Like, usually there's striations and stuff, but my iris is very flat, very boring. Well, they're just not as pretty as everyone else's irises, so I'm jealous. But anyway, that's completely beside the point. So there's two layers that are thought of. There's the layer of epithelium, which you can just think of as like the outside, and then there's the stroma, which you can think of as the inside. So everybody has um, basically the same amount of pigment, pigment in their epithelium, which is the outside, and then the stroma is has the variations of melanin, which is the pigment. And the more melanin that you have within each of the cells in your stroma, uh, means they're going to have a darker iris. There are many, many factors that can lead to the different amounts of pigment that you have in your eyes. They are genetically determined, however, it is not something simple. Uh, there are just so many different factors that lead to it. Um, now, you might be wondering about um, people with red eyes, usually albinos, and people who have red eyes lack the pigment in the epithelium, which is the outside layer. So you can see all the way to the back of their eye, which reflects back as red. Another thing you might be asking, which we've all probably encountered, is like, why does someone I know have two different colored eyes? Why does someone I know have 
one eye that's two different colors. At, and actually, um, a close friend of mine in high school had two different colored eyes. And um, a fellow member of Dan's team had one eye that was two different colors. And that's known as heterochromia. And this is completely normal. It doesn't make any difference in how you see. It just might make a difference on how you appear. Another thing that could be different is someone could have like spots of a different color and that's just like having a freckle on your skin but it's on your iris. The only thing that can be of concern is that if your eyes do change color. And it's also perfectly normal for your eyes to change color. But sometimes if your eyes do change color spontaneously and you don't know why it could be due to some sort of disease or trauma that you should look into and see see your doctor about. But other than that, it's all completely normal. Iris color, heterochromia, iris freckles, none of these things really matter when it comes to vision. It's just something that makes us all different, which is what makes the world go round.